guys welcome back to my channel and today's video I am going to show you the Dubfest ROM for this Redmi Note 3 which is based on Android version 10 so let's begin so as you guys can see here the Android security patch level is June 5th and the Dubfest version is the 10 beta version and the kernel here is the bloody kernel which is good then uh, going to the system you get all this stuff uh, like you get the dubfest updater but it just don't work as soon as you click on it you will be just exited as, as you can see here this is the bug settings just close and you will need to close the app then uh, this is the digital well-being available which is working absolutely fine Okay, then uh, going to the security, you get the fingerprint option and the fingerprint here is just working fine and the fingerprint sensor is working absolutely fine, it's fast enough. Then uh, going to the sound, you get all this sound and vibration stuff available here, like every room. Then uh, you get this, this is the battery, the battery life here is average, it's not that great but it's average. Then uh, going to this is the Dubfest quest. These are all the Dubfest customizations. These are the theming options like uh, you have the rounded corner option and it is working fine. As I am using the dark theme it is not visible. Then you have the status bar customizations like the system icons. Whichever the icons you want on the status bar. Then you have this show 4G, show 4G instead of LT and the VoLT option also of options available then you have the status bar logo like the Dubfest logo here then the battery icon in the battery icon you get the battery percent option then you have this show date then you also get this sticker uh, then this is the battery bar as you can see up here then the carrier label settings like you can customize the carrier label font name and all sorts of customizations then going to the quick settings customizations you get the status bar for Status bar pull down like the quick settings from the right left or you can do it from anywhere also then you can customize the tint here you can also do this blur background as a blur as soon as you do around this status bar uh, sorry quick settings then you get this option header image I just selected the local image but it's it is not working as you can see it is showing the black header only then going to these buttons options you get all this navigation bar Tuner, you can customize the layout. You have this volume button settings available. Then you can just disable the hardware keys from here and just use the on-screen navigation bar. You can you also have the accidental touch while this is very helpful while playing games and stuff. Then you have these double tap and single tap customizations and long press customization for the hardware buttons. Then going to the gestures customization, you get this brightness control by sliding this as you know then you have these three fingers swipe for the screenshot it is working fine and you get this long screenshot option also available then in the OSP gestures you get all these jump to camera and all this stuff in the system navigation gesture you get this two button nav and three button nav all the same stuff then you have this option to hide the navigation bar, bar pill if you want and you can also block the hide of virtual key this is very useful and it is working fine then you have the skip music track this is available like when you long press the long press the volume up button all the volume down button you can just skip the music track this is very useful option because i hear music a lot then going to the lock screen customization you have this ambient display brightness and all that stuff available you have this show battery bar all the and you have the media cover art over the lock screen then then you also have the music visualizer which is very good option then uh, going to the notifications and stuff uh, you get this notification like like battery charging like you have this charging animation and all sorts of stuff you also have the edge lighting for the ambient display which is also working fine and you have this in call vibration like vibrate on connect vibrate on call waiting this is very good option like it's very useful then in this animation you get all the animations and stuff like the activity open close all the animations and stuff available and the miscellaneous settings this is asking for a root so i'll just grant it you have this all this stuff 
available wake up and charge allows signature spoofing then this is the about section who developed the developed is ideo ben who great work i would say now in the display settings you get this lock lock screen display which is the ambient display and you also get these always on display which is also absolutely working fine this are the advanced settings like ambient wake gestures and the ambient music ticker so this is good then in the wallpapers option this are the wallpapers and this is the pixel wall these are the pixel wallpapers which are absolutely working fine so i just changed the accent color to one plus red and as you can see the access accent color has changed to red and it's looking great then you have this icon shape like the square teardrop square then the status bar icon shape that's it for the settings now going to the home screen as you saw that bug like you have this wi-fi stuff working fine mobile data torch everything's just working fine and then this is the dark mode enabled here as you can see then you have this screen recorder available which is working absolutely fine and in this settings you settings two for the number of frame rates and the, you can also record the internal audio which is good option for the you can adjust the resolution you can adjust the bit rate everything you can do now you get the right swipe for the google feed option then talking about youtube youtube is absolutely working fine no problems with the youtube talking about camera you get this google camera go version which is also working fine no problems with that then uh, you the G gcam version 7.3 is also working fine so that's great that uh, both the google cameras are working fine i don't know what just happened it is taking too long to open this app okay it just got hanged so guys as you can see when i, I open the gcam it is just stuck and this is the bug it just uh, gets stuck it is hanged so i just have to reboot this so guys uh, now just trying again to open the google camera version 7.3 as you guys can see it is working but it stutters sometimes but it works fine okay then talking about the pubg performance pubg performance is uh, like uh, a bit low after playing on the corvus os uh, this is not that great the pubg performance is average i would say so guys that was it and here are the benchmark scores i don't know the android benchmark is just not working it's just not getting installed this phone the, as you can see here the app opening times are are more as you can see here the single score is 292 and multi core is 690 which is great and now talking about the call quality the call quality is good i was having no problem with the call reception and you also have the call record option available here so guys in the display settings you get the game driver preferences when you just click on that you just, just list out and you can just select the pubg mobile and you can choose the game driver or the system driver graphics driver this is the cool option available guys now talking about the bugs the bugs as you saw that it just got hanged it also has the lock screen bug i am not able to touch you know as you can see here and i am pressing the fingerprint scanner but it it is just not working so this is a bug here and guys now as you can see uh, it has uh, just gone into the boot animation it will be just, just stuck at here and you will need to be reboot the phone using the volume down button and the power button so if you get stuck in there you can just do it that way so guys i just rebooted the phone like at least two times after the it stuck on the boot animation and uh, as you are seeing this is just happening i am not getting into the phone it is just stuck here and i have rebooted like these two times and it happened this only as now it is working after the third reboot that is the bug make sure you see this part of the video so guys that's it for now if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to hit the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel we are very close to thousand subs so let's do that i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and goodbye and please guys don't forget to comment here to comment down here